Hello, my name is Metin Arıdaşar. This is 195 part of explanation of my theory. According to my theory and my formulas, an isotropic, non-spherical, faster than light, variable light velocity, observable universe described by Arıdaşar by me. Faster than light, variable light, an isotropic, non-spherical, observable universe. 1. Suppose there is an imaginary sphere. Suppose there is an imaginary sphere in a volume of Meta sensation perception matter. Not space, not in nothing. There is no nothing according to my theory and my formulas. Matter. Meta sensation perception matter. Suppose there is an imaginary sphere in a volume of meta sensation perception matter. There is a spherical eye here. This is this is imaginary sphere in a volume of meta sensation perception matter, and at the center of this sphere there is three-dimensional observer. Spherical eye. Yes, there is a spherical eye at the center of this surrounding, surrounding imaginary sphere, which sees all images coming from all objects in all directions when the light, when light coming. The distance between observer eye at the center and surrounding imaginary sphere radius of this sphere is 300,000 km. Yes. I'm so sorry, small r. Yes. Here, snapshot. Yes, two. Suppose there are many motionless objects on the limit of this imaginary sphere. There is a motionless object almost on every point of this imaginary sphere's surface. Here, objects. Okay. Think of three-dimensional. Almost on at all at all points of imaginary sphere. Suppose there are many motionless objects on the limit of this imaginary sphere. There is a motionless object almost on every point of this imaginary sphere's surface. All of them are light sources. Suppose unless they move, these objects move, unless these objects move, these objects don't propagate light. Three. Suddenly, suddenly, all these objects start to move and start to propagate light at the same time. One of here, one of there, one of close to center, one of move away from the center. Okay? Some of them stay motionless, but they start instantly that time. 
motion starting time, propagating light also. <coughs> I'm so sorry. Yes. Suddenly all these objects start to move and start to propagate light at the same time. Some objects didn't move but start to propagate light at this time also. Some objects move away from the observer at different velocities in different directions. Some objects move close to observer at different velocities in different directions. Okay. Like this, like this, like this, like this, different directions. Okay. Here. I'm so sorry. <coughs> yes. Some objects move away from the observer at different velocities in different directions. Some objects move close to observer at different velocities in different directions. Now, A. What would happen if the velocity was independent of velocity of its source? What would happen if the velocity of light was in independent of of light yes light wave what would happen if the velocity of light wave was independent of velocity of its source velocity of light independent of these observers velocities what would... <laughs> I'm so sorry. First question that I ask. A. What happens after one second? B. Second question. What would happen if the velocity of light wave was independent of velocity of its source? C. What is the limit of observable by using conventional tools, tools, universe? What is the limit of observable universe by using conventional tools, tools? According to my theory and my formulas. A. All images. This is so important. All images from all objects arrive to at the center observer arrive at at the center observer at <coughs> at same moment and vice versa. Maybe these are not objects. All these are. Observers and at the center of circle, once upon a time a circle, there is source, light source. Same thing. Same thing. All images from all objects arrive at the center observer at the same moment and vice versa. Yes. Here. <coughs> yes. B. 
If the speed of light was independent of the velocity of its source, there would be arriving time differences for images from different objects. C. Limit of observable universe is, under the conditions of contemporary conventional observing tools for objects, exceeding the speed of light. Yes. Eventually, 4. The observable universe is not a sphere. Observable universe is non-spherical shape. 5. The observable universe is not isotropic. Observable universe is anisotropic. Yes. For instance, this is at the center of observer here. Object is moving away at 200,000 km per second. This is Z direction of its motion and through the observer wave velocity according to my theory and my formulas here will be 500,000 km per second. Now, this object move close to, move close to observer at 200,000 km per second, then wave velocity according to my formulas will be 100,000 km per second, then here 45 degree in 45 degree direction okay relatively this location of observer move away at this object, move away at 100,000 km per second, then this means cosine alpha 135 degrees. Finally, these waves arrive this observer at 170,710 km per second. Different variable the velocities, variable point wavelengths, variable point velocities, okay? And then uh, now we'll look observable shape, observable universe shape here. According to me, observable in universe is anisotropic, non-spherical. Here, for this example, not spherical. Here, this is the shape of our observable universe, for instance. Observable universe that I depict is anis anisotropic, non-spherical, not constrained by constant speed of light, not warped by constant speed of light. There is no constant speed of light everywhere. There is no constant speed of light. Velocity of light is very Yes. Eventually, the observable universe is not a sphere. Observable universe is non-spherical shape. Five, the observable universe is not isotropic. Observable universe is anisotropic. Whereas, in accepted physics theories, This is edge of limit of observable universe. Okay. Spherical shape. And isotropic. In accepted physics. No. Wrong. Yes. Whereas in accepted physics theories, as I call
quote from Wikipedia source wrote below. This is the quote from Wikipedia. Uh, subject is observable universe. Assuming the universe is isotropic, the distance to the edge of the observable universe is roughly the same in every direction. That is, the observable universe is a spherical region centered on the observer. Every location in the universe has its own observable universe. The word observable in this sense doesn't refer to the capability of modern technology to detect light or other information from an object. It refers to the physical limit created by the speed of light itself. No signal can travel faster than light, hence there is a maximum distance beyond which nothing can be detected. This is the quote and this is wrong. Have a good evening. See you later.